the wife to the crown prince of Ubunta Kingdom. Morning greetings, my queen. Good morning, Merida. Mm -hmm. I did not hear you come. Uh, um, though I have the feeling you've been avoiding me. Avoiding you? Why? Um, I don't know, but I can feel it. Um, my queen. See, we are the only two female adults in this palace. We should be working together. Hmm? We shouldn't be worried apart as female. We should, you know? I am not avoiding anybody. I'm a little bit exhausted after a busy time in the UK. Please, don't count it that way. No, I understand. I perfectly understand. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> um, where is your husband? Oh, he he went to Totan. He'll be back soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Though I have a feeling he does not approve my presence in this palace. Who? My husband? Mm -hmm. No, don't say that. My husband can be impossible and stubborn, but he does not hate people. He is not with such a heart. Well, if you say so, yeah. I, I have this thing. When someone... Oh. Hi, baby. Hi. Are you okay? Your wife. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? Stay away from my wife. I do not want to see you close to her again. You are here for my father. Stay around him. If I see you anything as close as an inch to her again, you'll be sorry. Is that a threat? A threat. Let me see you close to her again, and then we'll find out. Go, Digger. What's up? What's up? When would you stop for leaking with um, these girls? I guess when I stop being so sexy and being pretty, <laughs> I might think of stopping. You need help. I know. I know. I know. And you will never change. Come on, man. You are worse than me. Right. Of course. Mm. You know that, right? If you have to do this, do it somewhere else. I'm not here. Um, this is somewhere else. Um, not like this other palace. Oh, really? Okay. Since you're giving me holier than thou attitude, maybe I'll go tell your wife of your activities. How about that? Off I go. <laughs> Your mind's cute. No, I was joking. I was joking. So you look troubled. What is it? Um, Come here.
it was so real. I saw you, the king, Anu Bienze. It was just a dream, like you said. There was, there's no way we would have been in such, such acts. Something is wrong here, but I can't place my hand on it. Get me my Bible. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to startle you. It's fine. I didn't hear you come. But That's I'm okay. okay. Um, we've really never had time to talk. Are you deliberately avoiding me? Avoid you? Nah, far from that. You know I'm a very busy person and besides, you're my father's mistress. And I don't think we have much in common than the former relationship. You sound very interesting. <laughs> and I like that. Um, what are you doing out here all alone at this hour of the night? Are you okay? I guess I was bored. So I decided to come out and feel the breeze and Look at the sky. Count the stars. <laughs> that actually makes the two of us. I was bored sick after your father slept off. Not like I blame him. The old bones needed to rest. He was far spent after just one trip. Oh. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bore you with stories of me and your father. Oh, can I have a stick? Why are you looking at me like that? What do you take me for? A scent? <laughs> Please. Nah, I didn't say that. Just that you're my father's mistress. And I know he's very principled when it comes to women. You equally sound exciting. I like that. In fact, I want to know more of you. <laughs> and I can feel the exciting vibe around you too. So, tell me more about yourself. Mm. What is there to tell? I'm just a poor village orphan from the nearby kingdom who is searching for love and adventure. Oh, there you have it. I see. 
So can I have the stick now? Sure. We will be good friends. Good. You too, you're not looking bad. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Both of fuel and the rest are in royal service. In the house of royalty. Okay? So, we must have royalty self. You must learn. Royal gate. You must learn. Even royal. This is my bad. Okay. They use the jungle. My sweet honey. I hope you're going to see the doctor today. Um, that's where I'm coming from. I'm in senses with that. Oh, beautiful. Um, beautiful. Um, he... Yes. He asked me to give you this. Oh, what's this? Well, I am afraid, Your Highness, I cannot tell you that. I really don't have the courage to. So you have to open it yourself. I am opening it and it's not opening. Open it your eyes. Yes. The letter. Mm-hmm. The letter. Serious about this, are you? Are you? I am. You are? Oh, gods of our land. What can I do without <laughs> you? Oh, you've chosen to, to bless me in my old age. What a miracle. <laughs> What a miracle! Good to have a time. I'm going to be a father yet again. Eh? 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 Hey, come, 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 no, come on. You know? Come on, come on. Let's go inside. This calls for. Celebration! <laughs> hey, come on, come on, come on. Hey, I open the door for you. From now on, you do nothing. <laughs> do not say who that about my mistress ever again. She's a member of this royal family now. Like you said, Father, she's only just a mistress. And I do not have anything against her. However, I am not comfortable with her schemes in this palace. What was that? What did you say? Schemes! Explain that. She's a schemer. How, how, how in this world can she be pregnant for you, the king of water? How? I see. Gods of Ubuntu cannot 
bless me even now as my old age. Is that what you are insinuating? You are my son, but I forbid you or any other person from talking about my mistress in that manner. I only speak the truth, Father, and not against her. But anyone that is in the way of our peace in this household will not have it likely by me. Now what? What? What do you mean? Who are you? A mere boy. A mere boy whose umbilical cord has not been cut. If the gods of Ubunda, if the gods of Ubunda did not want her, they would have revealed it to me. Be careful. Be careful the way you talk to me. This is still my kingdom. I've been loyal, Father. I've been humble. Obedient to you. Do not set this kingdom ablaze before you hand it over to me or anyone else. I love everything about you. I hate to see you sad. What a big joke. Mm -hmm. The only thing you love about me is the fact that I keep your royal bed warm. No. No, Merida. You mean much more than that to me and you know it. Merida. You brought joy and happiness to an old man. Then why do you allow your son to make my stay here miserable? Huh? I, I don't understand why he wants to take away my happiness. Even yours. He does not want you to be happy, can't you see?
make me your wife. I just knew this whole thing was going to end up like this. It's freaking me out. This is really serious. I saw this coming. My father is talking about getting married to her. Making her his wife. Wow. He looked me straight in the face and said that's right. But on a real, this is really serious. What does she want? What is she doing here? Support my desire to be your father's wife. And in return, I will give you that which I know your heart desires. Which is... Father, I have come to say who she truly is. She's very kind, loving and accommodative person, with a heart of gold. And I support your desire to make her my stepmother. It will gladden my heart to see her around you. Relief that at least one of my children supports my happiness in this my old age. I don't know why the Gemefna hates her with such a burning passion. But but I'm sure that with time, she will turn around and regard her as, as his stepmother. Yes. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You support father marrying a total stranger? Do you know who that lady is? Do you know what she wants from us, what she wants from her family, where she's from? What if father is under some sort of enchantment? No one is under any enchantment. All I see is a lonely old man who wants a little bit of happiness before he joins his ancestors. Why not allow father and that young lady have their fun? She's not standing on anyone's way. Besides, she's carrying a strad. Another royal seed. Oh God. So you believe that? I know what that lady has done to play fool everyone in this, in this palace and I don't get it. Wake up, Adoma. Wake up before it's too late. Blow, 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 blow. Blow, 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 bl
Get it, get it, get it, cock! Damn it! Get it, get it, cock! Come here, What are you insinuating? That food which was served in this palace from which every one of us partook was poisoned down by, uh, by somebody. Beware. Beware of entertaining such dangerous thoughts in your head. I am not a doctor that confirmed that she was poisoned. Father, I lost my child. Your grandchild. How can I possibly be making these things up? There's something absolutely wrong in this palace, and you know it. So, so, you are accusing me, your father. The king of Uguta Kingdom of complicity in the wild wind that's your head. I did not accuse you, Father. I'm only stating the obvious. Someone in this palace must have minded the entire thing. It wasn't food poison, it was poison. I'm sure of it. Hey, bring my briefcase. But if you will do nothing about it, I will. There's no smoke without fire. She is the one behind this. I mean, such a thing has never happened in this palace before. Listen. We must unmask her and make the king send her away. Don't you both think that there is an enemy that we don't know? You are all aware that <coughs> Evelyn, the wife of my son here, he came here. Uh, apparent to the throne of Ugunta Kingdom was poisoned. Poisoned by the food she 
ingested in this palace. As spurious as that may sound, I had to go to the hospital to find out for myself. And I want to announce that it is no longer an allegation. The hospital has confirmed that Evelyn was actually poisoned by the food she ate in this palace. What that means is that we have a killer among us here. Subsequently, I had to go to Abalat. Try and find out who the evil killer among us is. The Abalanzi has shown who the killer is. The person that did the poisoning. He went further to say that that person is not working alone. That the person has accomplices in this palace. That's disturbing news. Isiako, step forward. Quickly, step forward here before I be excused. Speak. Speak before I be excused. Why did you poison Evelyn's food? Why? How did you do it? I am innocent. I did not do it. You're my king. And I couldn't have concealed such evil thoughts in my heart. Let alone allow my hands carry them. Please, please. Spare my life, please. <laughs> Stop! I can see that you have evil in your heart. Gods. Far <laughs> away and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Wait. <laughs> I know that this is not in my place to ask. Nonetheless, I, I would ask. It, it is my wife that was poisoned. But thanks to the gods for sparing her life. Let us not take another man's life or spill blood because of what was done to my wife. That being said, I, I humbly plead that you banish her instead. And if she is guilty, that the gods judge her. But if she's innocent, let posterity judge us.
Barrister, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. I invited you here, as well as members of my family, to make the following announcement. I want my will changed. My will, we have to change to accommodate my wife here, who is also a mother to be of my child unborn. I will give you details of the will subsequently. That's why I asked you back. That's why I asked my family to be present. Okay. Your Highness, I have heard you and I will be waiting for your information as you promised. Just to return back to the States. Maybe after some time, your father will realize that he is making a very big mistake. By then, he will realize that he needs his son around him. No way. There's no way I'm leaving my kingdom and running to a foreign land. There's no way. This is my land. I will stay here and resolve this. But you are no longer needed here. Can't you see that your presence has been moved to the background? Your father now listens to his mistress more than you. Is it when you have been reduced to a male servant that you will understand that you will walk away, save your face and walk away? Now that you still have a little dignity left in you. Yo. Yo. 
You seem to be very comfortable with all that is happening in this house. Merida has come to steal the joy we have shared for years now. Our bond, our happiness. Sono is here for our own selfish, selfish desires, a gold digger. This is a modern age. You do not expect me to be at war with everyone. Just because my brother doesn't like them. Why do you want to create a war where there is none? Or are you greater in wisdom than father? Or more spiritually deep than Abalanzi, the seer? Who finds her worthy to be around the palace? Prince Ikeme Funa, Donald Ikemba. Do not stand in the way of the gods. He has a saw on his head, obviously due to the fall. I cannot ascertain the level of um, damage is done until he's stable. Then we can run a scan on him. Um, thank you very much, Doctor. I I appreciate it. What could have made him slow? Father, for a long time now, has not complained about any form of ailment at all. How come all this is happening now? <sighs> Honestly, Kim. I'm as confused as you are. I mean, I can't just understand what is going on. I suspect, I suspect there is an evil aura 
around your father's mistress. Now come to think of it, since she came in in this palace, there's been negativities. There's been a bad vibe. There's been so much going on. Think of it. Um, we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful. We cannot trust anyone in this palace, not even the guards. Sure. I have a strong feeling that someone is after my father's life. I cannot place it, but I know it. We cannot trust anyone, not anyone, not the guards, not the maidens. Please, I really need you to keep watch over my father. Hey, come on, I beg you. You don't need to beg me. He's also my uncle. That's not a problem. Thank you. If you get tired, I'll, I'll come and take over. It's a quiet Just go. Let me go watch over here. Go sleep. His recovery rate is quite slow. But I'm certain that um, he would snap out of it and regain consciousness. Did he in any way complain about any form of body weakness before this happened? No, he didn't. Why do you ask? Can I see you privately? Sure. Your Highness. There are high dosage of tramadol and other painkillers in his bloodstream. Surprisingly, your father that I know does not ascribe to self-medication and continuous usage of these drugs could be detrimental to his health. Who knows, there might be someone somewhere administering these drugs to him to kill him slowly. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Highness. to pieces. When your father passed and he has treated you nothing less than a son. Nothing less than a son. He has given you all the privileges. This man has loved you. I'm giving you... Oh, call me that bullshit! What do you know about love? I'm asking you, what do you and your father know about love? He killed my father with his, with his occultism. You talk about love? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, yes. Your father killed my father, his elder brother. If not, why did he die the next day after returning from the city where he went to inform your father about his upcoming coronation as the next king of Ubuntu? Why? 
Your father killed my father, knowing that he will be the next in line when he dies. From that day, I vow to pay your father back for his wickedness. The throne he enjoys today is mine. And I'm here to take what rightfully belongs to me. I know nothing about what you're talking about. <laughs> I swear on my mother's grave. My father did not kill your father. He loved him. He loved your father. Remember how we used to be, your brother? Remember how we used to be? How he... he, he... Oh, call me that salmon muggo. I'm here to take what rightfully belongs to me. I'm here to end this. Take the throne. Take anything you want. Spare my father. Spare. Spare oh. my wife's life. Spare her life. Please, we can have it. Why are we even wasting time with this loser? Let's end this charade. Oh, guys, get the hell out of me! I feel like mad on me to do this. Alright, over there. Not so fast. You're under arrest for murder and attempted murder. I didn't kill anyone. I don't know what you're talking about. I did not kill anyone. You will soon find out who you killed. He took me to an Indian temple where we obtained some charms which I used on the king to make him fall in love with me. Our plan was to take over everything. When the king requested that his will be rewritten, we took advantage of that to influence the will that it may favor me and Obiese, which we forced the lawyer to do at gunpoint. 
he had no choice. Do you have any other thing to tell me? What could be the reason for Adelma's arrest? Yesterday it was Obeze and Merida. Now it's Adelma. Hmm. Hope we are still safe in this palace. My dear, I'm really scared. Because with the way things are going in this palace, they might come and arrest us one day. I'm thinking of going back to my maternal home now. Ah, that's a good thing to that extent. Eh? Look at them. Gossipers. I am sorry, Sam. For not being there when you needed me most. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive your father. You know, the world is really, really evil. And we must all know that. I should have resisted. Resisted that evil woman. Resisted whatever power she came with. But I failed. Son, I failed. Isako. You saved my life. Mm. You saved my life, not minding that once I passed death sentence on you. Our gods will continue to protect you. Save. It is my pleasure to serve you till death, Your Highness. <clears throat> Indeed, this household has been under a lot of pressure. I myself have, have had my own share of the pressure. But in all of this, I have become stronger. That's good. And indeed, I can beat my chest to say that I'll be able to withhold the pressure of the truth. Oh yes, oh yes. Son, you have indeed demonstrated that. You know, the events of the recent past have assured me that you are well able to grapple the affairs of, of the throne. When I am gone, yes, I am enormously proud of you. You know, you are the first seed of my loins. No fear. Not at all. Oh, this world is really evil. Evil. We must all be strong to resist the devil and his cohorts. Who would have thought that that evil woman wasn't pregnant after all? Oh, she had me. She had me deceived completely. I was taken in. Son. Father. 
must avoid those mistakes I made. You have taught me well, sir. <laughs> Love the holy king. Love the holy king. 